once the proposal has been signed, a good next step is to invoice your deposit or first payment. Navigate to your Payments tab by clicking View Here, or find Details to your left, and then Payments. Here is your payment schedule, or the payment terms listed in your proposal. You can edit these terms if necessary by managing your payment schedule here, right? change your percentages or your fixed amounts. But let's go ahead and send a payment request. When creating a payment request, you can also generate a QuickBooks Online invoice at the very same time. This also works for QuickBooks Desktop and Xero. This is simply a formal message sent to your clients, but you'll still need to send the invoice to your client from QuickBooks Online. All right, feel free to edit your payment request message and save this message for future payment requests. All right, you can display your payment schedule here, and you're gonna share this payment request the same way that you would a proposal by clicking on this paper airplane in the top right corner. You can share by email or by link. All right, pop in your client information, edit your subject line, and of course, edit the message here. Once your client pays your QuickBooks Online invoice, your statuses will be automatically updated here. Nice, right? And if you're using QuickBooks Desktop or Xero, you'll need to update these statuses manually today.